In today's video, we're going to be balancing or we're going to try to balance an iPhone 12 Pro Max on the DJI Ronin SC. See here, you're a public grade school teacher, a teacher broadcaster, and someone who's also into filmmaking. And this video was actually a response to one of our viewers from an old video that I uploaded maybe more than a year ago where I showed you guys how to use the DJI Ronin SE as a temporary phone gimbal while we are still saving enough money to buy an actual camera. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find an iPhone 13. Nobody in my social circle has an iPhone 13, but someone lended me an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's just assume that this is an iPhone 13. It's the same process anyways. You're just gonna need to do little adjustments so that you'll be able to get that correct balance for the iPhone 13. Also, part of the request is to use the actual DJI phone holder because in that video, I use a cheap phone holder that I purchased from a mall. Let's start. Right now, this is balancing my Sony ZV-E10 courtesy of my wife who she also just recently bought me this Sony 50mm f1.8 OSS. But that's a different story. I'm gonna do a different video for this camera. But for the meantime, let's focus on balancing this phone on that gimbal. The original DJI phone holder is now attached to the sliding plate it's between the light and the heavy payload. And also make sure once you put the phone in place, the lens is pointing towards that direction as indicated by this marking here. Lock this one and this other one. Okay, so... Here we go. Okay. Seems like the phone is heavy towards the back side. So we need to move the phone forward to balance it but the thing is, we need to adjust this or readjust it and move it towards that direction. This is now the changes that we did. Okay, we move the screw towards the light payload marking. So unlock this. This, okay. You can see it tilted towards the right side. That means this setup is heavy on the right side. So we need to adjust the phone or slide the phone through the phone holder towards the left. Move the mounting plate as well of the DJI Ronin SC towards the left. So let's try pushing the phone first through the phone holder towards the left. Again, still not enough. So I think I need to move the mounting plate, this one, towards the left side. I'll be pushing this mounting plate towards that direction. Oh, it's now heavy towards that end, so we need to pull it back. Hmm, seems okay now. It seems balanced. Okay, I think this all this is all good for this particular motor. Let's unlock the tilt motor again. Oh no, we need to adjust this again. Either we adjust this, push it towards that direction. If it's not enough, we're gonna need to adjust this here. Okay, let's start by adjusting the sliding plate first, if this will help. At this point, we need to adjust this arm by unscrewing this and sliding this downward or upward. Okay. Mm -hmm. We still have one more centimeter to go. Okay. I'm talking about this measurement here. Okay, we still have one centimeter left for our adjustments, available for our adjustments. Okay, let's un unlock it again. We now only have five millimeter left here for adjustments. But maybe by adjusting the plate, we'll be able to finally get it right. 
okay again I'm unlocking this so that we'll be able to push this this is sliding this is sliding plate forward towards that direction all right for this particular motor and this one this is now balanced okay let's test it manually mm -hmm. let's lock it in place lock them in place Okay, the next thing we need to do is to balance this for this axis at the bottom. Let's unlock it and then to test if it's balanced, what we need to do is to lean the gimbal handle a bit towards the right or towards the left. If this starts to roll, that means it is not balanced for this particular motor. I'm going to lean it towards the right. And as you can see, it is rolling. Let's do it again. This time towards the left side. Okay, it's still rolling. So it's not really balanced for this particular axis or motor. So how do we adjust this? Unlock this and then push this arm either towards the front or towards the side. Our goal is if we lean the gimbal to one side, it should stay as is. Let's try pushing it forward up to the zero marking on this. We are now at zero. I'm locking the motor or the, the arm in place. Okay. Again, remember this and this motors are locked. Only this motor down here is unlocked. Okay. We are at the zero marking. It rolled again, so that means we need to adjust this one centimeter mark. Uh huh. Okay, I think we found it. Let me try that again. It's not rolling, so that means we were able to balance this phone correctly on the roll or on this motor at the one centimeter mark. I'm referring to the markings you will find here. We are at one centimeter mark. Now, the moment of truth, let's unlock this. And then this. If it stays in place, we are good to go. Alright, if you're gonna ask if we need to test the balance using the DJI Ronin app, maybe, but since I've been using this gimbal for quite a long time now, I know that I don't have to test the balance if I can see it with my own eyes that it's already balanced. I did the manual test and the visual test, it's all balanced for me. You don't need to do the test balance if you are confident that it is manually balanced correctly. But don't forget to do the auto tuning, okay? Which is something that you can only do using the DJI Ronin app on your phone, which I cannot do right now because it is on this phone that we are using for the recording. I'm turning the gimbal on. Uh-huh. It's kind of vibrating. Like I said, don't you forget doing the auto-tuning of your gimbal after the balancing, okay? It's vibrating. I auto-tune this using the phone that we are using for the recording. So I'm gonna cut this recording auto tune this and now I'm gonna be back once I'm done. Hi guys, I'm back and like I said, you don't need to actually do the balance test on the DJI Ronin app if you're already used to manually balancing your DJI Ronin SC gimbal. All I did was auto tune the gimbal using the DJI Ronin app on my phone and it's already fixed. So it's as simple as that. So we can now start using this gimbal as our temporary phone gimbal while we are waiting and still saving for an actual camera like this Sony ZV-E10. Okay, for the markings or for the settings or the adjustments, the cell phone is attached to the light payload marking. For the sliding plate, we are at 3.5 centimeter or 35 millimeter marking here. And for this one, we are at three millimeter marking. For this arm at the tilt axis, we are at five millimeter marking. And for this arm at the bottom, we are at 
the one centimeter marking. So that is how simple it is to balance a phone on your Ronin SC gimbal using also the original DJI Ronin SC phone holder. I don't do test balancing using the DJI Ronin app. I do the balancing manually and then after that, I auto-tune it using the DJI Ronin app. So hopefully you find something useful from this video and inspire you to be more practical. I already have a camera to use and for my phone setup, I use this one instead. The Ulancy MT16, I believe, but that's a different story. It also has this boom mic here. I'm gonna make a different video for this setup, all right? So bye for now. Happy holidays, everyone, and continue being creative. Sir Z here at your service.